wasn't planning on making this video, but I think this is way too good to miss. Right, more carbon work, guys. Look at those lovely shapes. So, this is another aero part for Tegiba NSX Tsuki. It may not look like much now, but those were CNC cut by Stu Kennedy. Thank you, mate, of Cake, Cake Pipe Automotive. Go check him out. He has a CNC router that he can, well, his history is in F1. He's done a lot of F1 parts in the past. So when I reached out to him and I said, hey, dude, I remember you were doing this. Can you do something for me? I said, yeah, sure. What do you have in mind? So those are really simple shapes and Stu sourced the, the, the foam and CNC cut on his machine. Did I say go check him out? Go check him out. Um, you may say, well, they're just simple parts. Why didn't you cut them yourself? Well, they're not just simple parts because it's aero part. There's a big taper from 20 to 30 and they have to be dimensionally accurate because everything falls together as a big jigsaw puzzle. Anyways, we have those two parts. This is, um, it's not structural foam. Um, I think this foam is basically, it's, it's very similar to the one that you get from uh, florist, you know, for, for the flowers. So it's not the usual sort of uh, super high density foam that I use for uh, all of my parts. I'm just trying to see if I can show you an example. I'm sure you've seen it, the usual green stuff. Um, but this is good enough as a core material, providing you have um, enough layers of carbon fiber. Usually two is more than enough. So all I need to do really, all I need to do really is cover them in carbon because most of it is going to be hidden underneath the car anyways, but we want it light and we want it dimensionally accurate. So we have those two parts. I put back my surface that I've molded this splitter from, which still needs to be finished. Um, all I have to do is pre-cut carbon and I think this is going to be wet lay. I might actually do a hybrid sort of wet lay and then one infusion, but most likely it will be wet lay. Very, very simple. Just wanted to show you guys how you can literally do it without expensive equipment. Let's go. That's a good one. So I made a template. It's always nice to use a template when you cut carbon. So the length of each piece is 900 something something. Um, this sheet of uh, carbon, well, the roll of carbon is one meter width. You can actually get uh, 1200 or even 1500. You can have a, a V band. Uh, have a look on Easy Composites website. They have a large sort of stock of items. Um, unfortunately, due to supply problems, some of it is out of stock, but they generally get them pretty quick. Um, so because the part is going to be 30 millimeters thick on this end and only 20 on this end, the carbon needs to wrap around. As I found before, um, you need a fair amount of overlap. Otherwise, the carbon just wants to sort of, doesn't want to stick basically. So in order for it to sort of stay flat against the 90 degree edge, you need a fair amount of overlap. So I would say something like, like this. This is around, 13 centimeters. So then as you can imagine, it folds over and then you have a decent amount that can actually stick onto the foam. Because this part is almost a meter, we cannot cut them like this. So I reckon I could possibly cut two lengthwise like that because the width of the part is only 45 centimeters. Um, so let's pre-cut those position them on the thing and just apply some resin underneath and then I'll show you what's next. So as you can see, the bottom layers, the visual ones are pre-cut, laying loosely on the thing. I will be placing those on top. And then once it's folded, the top, I want to have a really neat edge all the way around. That's where this template comes in handy because it goes on top of the foam like this. You can see it covers it perfectly with about five mil gap on each side. 
So what I'm going to do, I'm going to use this um, simming, zooming, simming tape, adhesive sort of fabric stuff. And then we're going to apply it to an off cut of carbon using parchment paper. So then I can actually cut it to a very neat edge. As you can see this thing is stuck on so now all the fibers are together so when I cut it with scissors there's gonna be none of this crappy stuff as you can see there's a very nice straight edge something like this I decided not to use the infusion and in... it's just not necessary because a the foam doesn't have the holes I would need to drill them and B um, it is a very simple part so all it needs is literally two layers of carbon on each side of the foam and then a little bit of compression just to compress it all wait for it to sort of set and you should have a, a strong good enough part providing that you've been really sort of careful with how much resin you put not just sort of completely soak it so it's like dripping 
eventually. So you probably ask, what is this effort was for? Why? What sort of air apart was I making? This. Um, it's difficult to explain what this is, but this effectively is a side skirt, side plate, whatnot. And the reason why it had to be of this weird shape is because it's, you know, all about air and stuff. And as you can see here, you have 10 mil going into 20 mil. So it's a bit of a sort of widening mouth thing, directing air to certain parts of the diffuser. Anyways, this was a very simple way of making a part from carbon fiber using a custom CNC mold. So yeah, Keki Automotive, hit them up if you need anything doing. And um, I'm off to do something else. See you later.